What's up guys, Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I just bought something that I uh, normally wouldn't buy, uh, but since I did buy it, I thought, why not we'll take a look at it together here. So, obviously you can see it's Louis Vuitton, or Vuitton, as some weirdos say. But uh, hey, comes in this like uh, golden rod type of box, and this is what you all get with it. So another like uh, golden envelope here, Louis Vuitton. Um, I've got a... Uh, thank you for shopping card here. I've got the paper receipt for the transaction. Um, I will tell you that this thing is stupidly expensive and not sure how people just want to rob people um, with this stuff. As you can see here, the box has these little blue tabs and it's uh, magnetic closure right there. So, you know, all the normal stuff that you might expect. And so let's take a look at the purse. Now I've already unboxed this and taken a look at it here. It comes in this like cloth pouch. Um, so it's a bag in a bag. So you can pull that out. And here we have the purse itself. Now this is called the Monogram MM, I believe. Um, you know, a nice looking purse or clutch, I guess. But the thing about this is that it's their traditional style. And as you can see, you know, I don't even know is this even leather it doesn't even really feel like it it feels kind of like some pleather you know uh, but it has that kind of gold printing you know and it's more of like an orange I mean I guess it looks kind of goldish on the camera but it's kind of like this you know this brown orange paint and obviously the LV logos and then kind of some of their designs down here we have the Louis Vuitton uh, um, closure on it which is in like a uh, like a gold toned metal you can see right there Louis Vuitton Ferry now what I actually really wanted to get was Goyard you can see here the inner underside of it you can see the exposed screws uh, from I don't know is that British or something but because uh, I kind of liked the idea of a brand that a lot of people haven't heard of and Goyard it seems to make a very similar product and maybe I don't know that I call it more exclusive but just kind of less popular you know I like stuff off the reservation but um, the person that I'm gonna give this to one in Louis Vuitton so it is what it is as you can see it's not very big you kind of have these uh, typical Louis Vuitton like uh, kind of almost natural looking leather with kind of the red sides um, gold hardware around the whole thing you have like this almost like waistband chain, just circular links, that's permanently attached to the to the rings on either side. So if you like this thing, you can't take it off, but I guess you can unclip it here and throw it in the purse, or you could kind of just put the whole thing in the purse and let it drape in there. But I mean, it's literally meant to like always be exposed. It kind of reminds me of those chicks that wear like gold chains or like gold chain belts and jazz like that okay so it is what it is you've got on the back here um, same material but you have a couple of like rivets and then the stitching that goes around here which is presumably for a pocket inside so let's go ahead and just open this up and we have kind of a dark purple uh, fabric material and then here's the pocket that you can see the stitching on the outside it says Louis Vuitton Paris inside there um, again another the similar to the leather on the ends and then it's just a little you know unclosed un unflapped pouch or pocket and you can put some money in here maybe a passport it's not super big and then inside it's pretty just traditional open space again right so you have that now what took me a little while to figure out is that you do get the shoulder strap and only one of the ends has the kind of the little carabiner like clip like the uh the chain here d does too so what you actually have to do is you um and what i should say is this really long leather strap uh yellow stitching down the center has a um an opening here you kind know, of like a shirt buttonhole and what you have to do is you have to put that through uh one end here and then you run the strap through it so it's kind of a really low-tech you know attachment and to be honest I'll pull it tight here uh, should have probably rotated this over here just a little bit um, as you can see just gonna pull it tight and apparently that's what holds it in place now uh, my only concern about this is they have punched a little hole here so that it shouldn't tear open but I feel like this is gonna get pulled 
uh, you know, from side to side, and it could just kind of split down the edge. Now, I guess it's not a big deal. You can kind of see the unfinished leather edges to it, but apparently they've got it figured out, so I don't know. Hopefully the warranty is pretty good on this bad boy. And then you just take this, and you've got this little, like, D-ring just like on here, or the carabiner like clip and you clip that on and now thing is together and ready to go and again I don't know that the chain is supposed to kind of fall in front of the flap or what but it's a lot of bling man um, maybe I didn't buy it for a friend maybe I'm gonna carry this bad boy I don't know I might got more money wrapped up in it than I do on some watches for a little pleather and gold plated I don't know steel there it is Louis Vuitton check it out buy it for a thousand bucks if you want Peter Van Pand out